Hello everyone and welcome. Um, I just want to apologise for my lack of content lately. Um, I had uh, quite a few hospital appointments um, for my Fabry disease, uh, so I've been quite tired recently. Um, hence the the lack of videos. So I do apologise. Um, and now on to the uh, video at hand. So in this video, we'll be looking at the Rafal mod pack by uh, Cuesta Brothers. Uh, it features four variants that you can fly. The um, the Bravo, which is the two-seat precision ground attack reconnaissance and nuclear strike variant. Um, the Charlie variant, which is the single-seat air-to-air and air-to-ground variant. And then, of course, you've got the, the M variant. Um, here's the air-to-air -air version of the M or Mike or Marine but there is also an air to ground variant. Uh, the simple fact is it's like VSN um, let's uh, clear that up, it's not purely like VSN where they've just wrapped a new skin around a, a pre-existing um, aircraft um, the Cuesta Brothers have taken aspects of the SU-33 and the SU-25 uh, in in uh, in terms of avionics and um, sort of made a hybrid, but have also managed to build their own model with its own um, quirks, if you like. Um, so they've done a very good job. I mean, it looks superb on the outside, um, and trust me, it's a lot of fun to fly. And the the amount of weapons that you can use on this thing is unbelievable. And there are a few extras that come with the with this pack. Um, but we'll get into the sim, and I'll sh uh, show you some uh, flying. So here we are in the Rafale Bravo variant, um, as you can see it's a two seater so you've got a guy in the back um, and I've also loaded it out with quite an impressive array of um, munitions there. So starting from the outer pylons working in we have Sidewinder Papa, then we have the uh, Storm Shadow or Scalp as it's known on here. Uh, harm, some more pappers um, just in board of that, and then on the centre line we have an exocet for the giggles. Um, as you can see, it's quite manoeuvrable. Um, and now I'm going to show you the cockpit. Um, we're only in version two of the mod at the moment, so. There are, they are still working on it. To be honest, I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, yeah, it's no um, high fidelity, but what do you expect from a low fidelity uh, free mod for stars? Um, the fact that it's not the cockpit of an SU-25 or an SU-33 or a MiG-29, you do need Flaming Cliffs 3. Um, package for this to work but it's it, it's 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 its own apart from of obviously the avionics um, so um, they've done very well um, I like to have the aircraft armed as well otherwise you get this annoying pitch ladder on the HUD and that after a little while you start to get a headache so um, hit the navigation uh, button a couple of times to arm it and you get back to where where I started from. Um, as you can see we do have a back seater but as of this moment you can't use that back seat. And um, another, another thing that may um, put people off is that it has no function functionality with catapults on carriers. Um, at this moment in time there is no way to hook up to a catapult 
So to launch from a carrier you basically have to start off as light as possible at the back of the carrier and just go hell for leather off the end of it and hope for the best. Um, as it's incorporated some of the SU-33 into it, yes it has a hook and yes it does work. Um, obviously the Bravo variant doesn't have the hook um, but um, it does have a working hook for the marine variant so you can do your um, landing on the Charles de Gaulle um, or the Clemenceau uh, depending on which one you may have um, getting off of it could be quite something else so um, yeah that's um, a bit of armament a bit about the um, elements of uh, carrier and um, yeah uh, I mean it's 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 a great mod um, they've done very well um, you can air to air refuel it comes with an AI um, Rafale um, marine uh, that does uh, but uh, has a buddy pod so you can air to air refuel um, as far as I know that works um, but the um, the real uh, two elements of this that I really like are the Storm Shadow and the Exocet. Um, especially the Storm Shadow because you can launch that from literally miles away and the precision of it is, is quite impressive. Um, as you can see just down here on the uh, screen Alright, MFD here. We've got a. Uh, we're being pinged basically by a radar that's just off the coast there. Um, and um, what I'm going to do is um, switch on my Damocles. Not Damocles. I have the Thales pod. Well, you can't actually see it. Um, yeah, it's. It is there though. Um, because you, you have three pods you can choose from, the, the Damocles, Lightning and Thales. Thales is basically the um, Phantasmagoria pod. Um, so uh, yeah, if we turn that on now. Um, let's get to you at ground mode. Switch on uh, that's the screen. And there we go, we are now in uh, using our Thales pod with, as you can see, um, it says scalp down here, which is the storm shadow. And all we need to do is to get that square over one of the diamonds, lock it on. Um, there doesn't seem to be a range um, um, ladder here. Well, there is a range ladder, but um, there is no um, minimum, maximum, so you just use your launch authorize, uh, override until you get LA or launch, launch authorization, and then you can fire one off. And this thing is absolutely awesome. And there's my plane being left in its wake and we shall come back to that once it gets closer to the target because as you can see there's a the target there I've released it here um, so quite some some way away um, while we're at it we might as well launch the other at a different target as these are fire and forget you don't need to be um, completely on it to um, to launch the weapon and there it goes Storm Shadow number two and if we F6 it this is my first one and my second one so we'll come back to that come back to those two shortly 
so yeah, uh, uh, you can, uh, as I say, you can also carry the lightning pod and the uh, Damocles pod, pod, which are basically, um, well, you should know the lightning pod if you know this sim. Um, it's what you use the laser guided munitions with, and um, those are just two different variants of that. Um, as you can use uh, LGBs with this, obviously, and um, as well as some other weapons that can be added ad added to that, um, and t TV guided missiles as well, obviously with the TV guidance here. So yeah, like I say, uh, this is a great mod. Um, I'm going to go more in depth with it in a, a couple of other videos for like tutorials and stuff um, but for now um, that's it for the review um, I mean it, it, it has a, a maximum speed you can't over exceed which is good and it will warn you if you're going to overstress the aircraft which is nice instead of just pulling a, a steep turn and have your aircraft fall to bits um, and you know it's got its air brakes which I find it quite weird there the flaps uh, are the leading edge slats they come up and down um, other than that really that's pretty much it see how uh, here we go we're approaching the targets now so that one just went off over in the far corner there, and we'll just watch this one hit the target. And bingo. Right. Well, I'm going to go out with a bang. So, thank you for watching, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.